this is Minky89 and today I have a little Funko haul. They're all from Star Wars and I've already taken them out of the box because I don't know which Star Wars specially I'll... If I can't make the video right away I just can't keep them in the boxes. But to start with I'll show the boxes and the first one is my favorite. It is the Dagobah Yoda from... It's a... from old movies but the look of the box is actually kind of similar to more of the Force Awakens ones and it's a, a series where there's also the Luke Skywalker and Han Solo from Ceremony and some others <laughs> you know what I'm really excited about is the pop itself of course because I think he is awesome. I know there is an older Yoda pop and I've been in agony because I love Yoda. I think Yoda is one of the greatest characters in Star Wars and then the pop from beginning <laughs> and the old Yoda pop is just awful. Have you seen it? It's just... no, it looks ridiculous. This one instead looks really like Dagobah Yoda has this oldness look on it and like wise dude and he has a bit of hair at the back and side of him and the cane he uses and all the wrinkles on the forehead it just it looks amazing I really really love this one it's just it's really cute that's all I can say and I've been hoping to get this from Pop in a Box but no longer. I could not wait anymore. The GameStop had their discounts again by 3 pay 2 and I had to get this one which meant I had to get two more also. And the second one is from a new movie that's not yet out even and it is of course Star Wars Rogue One and this is the Jin Erso, there's quite many versions of her and I thought from the ones that are available for everybody this is a nice one because she will have a gun and I'm not a big fan of totally black outfits because I believe the GameStop exclusive maybe is one with a black outfit like a imperial clothing but it's cool but not really one I want to have in my shelves. What I would really want is from the Bounty Hunter box. That's gonna be a really awesome pop and maybe they'll make some more interesting ones but for now this is still pretty nice. So here she is and so you can see she kind of reminds me a bit of Han Solo actually somehow with the gun towards and uh, the outfit of the leather vest well I'm not sure if it's leather vest but like a vest and pants and holster on the side there and he has pretty hair it's um, like in a little bun at the back that's cute it's a uh, well done, but it's not really that special. Especially since I don't know yet much about this character, I do hope and believe that the Rogue One movie is gonna be awesome. It really looks really, really great. And I was so disappointed with The Force Awakens. I love the characters in Force Awakens, but the story is almost third time the same idea destroy the Death Star and stuff like that so I don't know not my thing so much BB-8 was great <laughs> and last but not least is a pop that I was a bit tween if I want to get it or not because I would actually want to have a bigger version a more special version of this pop but since there was a discount so I thought why not I really do want it and I would be disappointed if I wouldn't have it in any version at all so it is Mr. Jabba the Hat and the box art is the old Star Wars with the blue 
box and in this one it has uh, Slave Leia, Tusken Raider, Java, Clone Trooper and Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilot so I have the X-Wing Pilot that I got actually almost a year ago my birthday present from my friend and I have also the Tusken Raider and I would like to have at least um, Java I'm not so sure about the Clone Trooper they look quite the same except the newest one Rogue One Trooper is cool I really love it but the pop itself is here Jabba the Hutt I would really definitely want the bigger version the tray pack with Slave Leia and the little creature and Jabba the Hutt but since I'm not sure if that's ever possible to get I do like to have the small one because after all it's Jabba the Hutt you have to have Jabba the Hutt and he looks awesome it's just he's between gross and cute as a pop and I do like how different it is from pop figures because it has the kind of a tail look to it and what's weird is that it's hollow it's a uh, almost kind of I don't know I think this also is similar with some other bigger pops like I have a cat from the Secret Life of Pets it also has a hole at the bottom so probably it's with the style when they're more like round or big characters then they make it hollow but it's a bubble head like all the Star Wars characters are which is not really my favorites I'm not a big fan with bubble heads I often want to take these Star Wars characters with me to school I know <laughs> but it's just I would like to have it like next to my computer when I'm doing some really challenging programming and then they could be like you can do it and so on but this was my Funko haul for now so there was three Star Wars characters and I was with my husband at the shop when we bought this so he bought three pops also and unfortunately he made it into his own channel so if you wanna see League of Legends pops which are amazing I recommend checking the link under this video and you can always leave a comment what did you like the pops I got do you want some of the pops and so on and so on and please come back again and give me a thumbs up and subscribe bye